Hey guys, this is Echo Sourix, and you are checking out a tutorial, a Logic X tutorial for ADSR sounds. This video is going to be a really quick one, but it should be a pretty cool one. So you can convert using the Flex Editor, the Flex Pitch Editor in Logic X. You can con you can convert that information once you actually get the Flex Pitch turned on into a MIDI track. So let's say you have an audio loop and you want to change it or you, you really like some part of it and you just can't figure out by ear what notes are being played. You can use this to get a you, sometimes a good approximation of, or most of the time, a good approximation of what's being played. And sometimes it'll be pretty spot on correct. Now, it's only going to work with monophonic information. It's not going to work really well with polyphonic, so like chords and all that, you're still going to be having to figure those out by ear, but let's take this lead for instance. All right, so it's an audio file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on by hitting the uh, flex editor up here, this little flex tool. Mine's a little bit different color because I'm using a theme or a skin, but it's the same thing. Then go to flex pitch and it will analyze it and we'll turn on the flex pitch. So if you double click now and you go to track, you'll be looking at the pitch information for this track. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually go to edit. You can go to create MIDI track from flex pitch data. And what Logic will do is it'll take the flex pitch data in this screen with all the pitch and everything, and it will then bounce that or technically create that and put a MIDI region on it using the, uh, I guess, the electric piano by, by default. Okay, so you can see that there's some problems with it. It's not exactly the same, but... But you can see here that it is very close, and it's telling this first, these first four or five notes are pretty much spot on. All right, so I muted that one because it's not there, so. Okay, and then starting right here, we have some, you know, individual notes, which I can see on the audio right here, so we're just going to pop these in. That would go right there, and then now we should have. All right, and that's how you can do it. It's really cool. So then let's say you're working with an audio loop or you're working with something you wanted to layer to it, you wanted to change it. This is how you can do it inside of Logic X. Turn on the Flex Pitch Editor, make sure it's monophonic, and then you're going to have to do a little bit of finessing to get to be the exact same, but. I think it's more of a learning tool to be like, okay, here are the notes, and then you can change the loop. You can do whatever you need to. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.